On this edition of Knicks Verse, we are going to look at the Knicks versus the Detroit Pistons. Been having a little rough time, Detroit, so let's dive in, see what's going on. As you could tell, the Pistons are also a very old team too, 1948-1949. We've played a total of 387 games against them. Detroit Pistons have 176 wins, and congratulations, Knicks, you have 211 wins against the Detroit Pistons. So you have the wins advantage. We've played 15 playoff games against them, but Detroit has the playoff wins against us. And this is when they were the Detroit Pistons, not the Fort Wayne Pistons, which is what they were before they were Detroit. Last time we saw them in the playoffs was 84, 90, and 92. We don't really cross paths with the Detroit Pistons. And I think at that point, it was Isaiah Thomas was still on that team. And by that point, Knicks also had all those boys from the 90s so pretty good if you take a look at the last few games that we've played against them we are on a five game win streak against them we've beaten them at home and away although 2019 2020 if you see we actually broke a streak they had an eight game win streak when we weren't that good and they were i guess kind of okay they had andre drummond i remember greg monroe might have also been on that team at home away we've beaten them we have one game at home and two games away. So we'll be at Detroit twice, late December, and then I think sometime in March. So we have a five game winning streak against them. We play them three times in this NBA season. So we're hoping to extend that to eight. That'll be interesting, It'll, uh, how the turntables. Otherwise, if you notice, they were beating us 2016, 2017. We were okay, win loss, win loss, but mostly Detroit was winning. Take a look at the games that we'll play against them next, and that is December 21st, December 29th, and March 27th. Let's take a little look at Detroit and see what's going on. First, I want to take a look at their injuries. And if you notice, Jeremy Grant is out and Kelly Olenek is out. Their main guy and their stretch four, I would say, the guy that can shoot the ball, a player that can shoot the ball on that team at a pretty high effective rate, is also out. And they're also two tall guys in crucial positions, I would say, for their team. The small forward and the power forward position. Although you can even argue that one through four are probably some of the main positions with today's NBA kind of falling away from what the five is aside from, say, a few players here and there. But also Jokic won MVP, so that's something to consider. Take a look at their stats, see what's going on. Notice that, like I said, Jeremy Grant and Olenek are out, who help make up for some of the some of the team so the we will most likely see them if we do play because of covid and everything along those lines we may see those guys in march depending on what happens and what's going on around the league otherwise you're going to look at cade cunningham sadiq bay fred jackson things along that nature cade cunningham the rookie that they drafted sadiq bay and isaiah stewards are, are the three guys that kind of stand out to me they do lose their points guy, but they do keep their rebound guy, their assist guy, and their steals guy. So it's something to consider, but it is a rookie, so you do have to consider that. They do seem to get pretty decent rebounds. Their guys get good rebounds. And they seem to pass the ball okay. But their assists aren't necessarily anything to go crazy for. Because, I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. They are a five-win team. If you look at the schedule, man, whew, it just looks rough. They started the season with a four-game losing streak, one game, and then another four-game losing streak. And then you had a little glimmer of hope, but I mean, still. And it's just been loss until the Miami game. And they play against the Knicks tonight. So it's been a little tough. This team seems to have uh, lost a little bit. And with the loss of Jeremy Grant, with the loss of Olenek, you can kind of understand, especially with a team that kind of just has players at this point. So they're enthusiastic. They're gung-ho. They're going to be quick. They're going to be fast. But since they don't have a proper leader or they don't have the re really the players that can bring in, they might even be lacking veteran leadership. I think the Knicks will wind up doing a little bit better against this team. Cunningham, Sadiq Bey is also scoring really well lately. Even though in losses, you still you still do have to kind of look at these. Isaiah Stewart, Hamadou Diallo. Kid Cunningham kind of assists a little bit with the rebounds. Their assists seem to be okay. You're getting, you know, in the double digits, which isn't really bad. But the team is losing. And they haven't had a win aside from December 19th. Their last win was November 17th. 
So they're going about a month without a win at this point. You got to be careful when teams see that they're not afraid. And with someone like the Knicks, who I don't know if they're starting to find their groove because COVID has racked that team as well. For a team like the Knicks, who aren't defensively sound, but can probably still get it done. If it's in their favor, I can see the Knicks winning at least two games against them. Just for the record, let's look at the Knicks stats. Randall's our guy. We are getting good overall assists. Just keep in mind, we really, it's Fournier, it's Randall, D. Rose is out, Burks, Mitch, Taj, Noel. I don't know if Sir Jericho Sims is out, but these are the players and they just signed Damian Dotson. So hopefully we can bring back a little 2017, 2018 flair. That'll be pretty interesting. Overall, I think our team basketball is a little bit better than them. Let's go to where we see them. And December 21st and 29th. We're home against Detroit, and then we're away. We go to Minnesota, Detroit, and then Oklahoma. That might be in our favor. After we see Washington, who I think we could beat. After seeing Atlanta, who we kind of own the regular season against them. We can probably get the first game, the second game. I also want to see March 27, just to be safe. And then we're going to look at the Pistons, and that'll give my thoughts. We'll be away. Hornets, Heat, Pistons, and then Atlanta, Utah. So this might be a little tough. Let's see where the Pistons are in this case. December 20, 21st, 23rd. Then they get a little break. I can probably see see them trying to beat the Knicks or trying to save their energy against Miami because Miami is probably going to go after them on the 23rd. And let me check March 27. They'll be home. It'll be a three-game home stretch. And they'll see Portland, Atlanta, Washington. I would say the Knicks win in December, the two December games, and they might lose in the March game based off what I'm seeing because they're a hampered team. So are the Knicks. But I think overall the Knicks will match up a little bit better. The one thing we want to keep in mind about the Pistons as we kind of wrap up this whole thing, they have enthusiasm and they're young enough where their creativity is still palpable. So that's something to consider. They're going to try to play with upbeat, with tempo. The thing is, when you're playing that fast and you don't really have people to kind of guide them, you're relying on a rookie in this case, he can only learn so much unless he's super intuitive. Their upbeatness, their tempo might be fast. We might see a little craziness in like the first quarter, maybe the third quarter or something like that and a little stretch in the fourth. So your best bet is to defensively hamper these guys and make sure that they uh, suffocate them. Suffocation is key in this case. And making sure Isaiah Stewart doesn't really get going on the defensive end. That's something, if we can take out one guy, Cade will do his thing, but take out Isaiah, Isaiah Stewart. See what you can do against Sadiq Bey. This way, let Cade kind of do his thing and he'll get hampered if he doesn't know where to find the other guys. Getting rid of one or two guys, you can get rid of their main point guard, their main player, and distract him. That's what I think the Knicks might do. I mean, they're going to want to shoot threes as well, but we could also get into the paint. That's what I think. Two Nick wins in December, one Nick loss in March. Let's see what's going on. Thanks, guys. This has been the Knicks vs. Detroit Pistons.